I'm about to show you something wonderful. Something that'll change in one second the way that you look at yourself. A perspective that will change what you see when you look up in the sky in the darkest night. Now the stars that you're looking at here are pretty much the same that you would see on any starry night. Except for that one there. That's the sun. That's the bright one that lights up our planet and gives us day rather than this more representative sky that you're currently looking at. And you're currently about one light week's travel from it. That is, the lights that shone out from planet Earth last weekend have gotten no further in the universe than here. But that's nothing, because you're currently travelling towards it at the speed of light. That's right, you're currently travelling towards it as fast as it's possible for physical objects to travel in our universe. In the world of simulations, however, the laws of physics become a little more... Hmm, plastic. You just have to free your mind. So let's accelerate 10 times the speed of light, 100 times the speed of light, 1,000 times the speed of light, 10,000 times the speed of light. At this speed, it would only take you about 10 seconds to fly across the whole of the solar system. So right, let's slow this down for a, a light speed flyby of the largest planet, Jupiter. Just for perspective. So it takes a few seconds to fly across the Jovian system at light speed. Yep, that's it. That's the biggest planet in the solar system at light speed. Now let's take a look at the sun. Now we're currently about one light hour's travel away from the sun. And as you can see, we've flown down into the plane that all of the planets orbit the sun in. Now let's get up to about 100 times the speed of light. And as we get closer to the sun, we cross the orbits of the inner planets. First Mars, then Earth, then Venus, and finally Mercury. At which point we're going to put on the brakes so that we can do a, a comparative light speed flyby of the sun. Oh, that's one hot meatball. Hey, but what about the Earth? Let's go home. Let's do a light speed flyby of the Earth. Well, okay, we're currently about 10 light minutes away from Earth, but we can cover that quickly enough. Now, just for perspective, the distance to the moon is only about one light second away. So as we approach Earth, we slow down to about the speed of light. Vroom, that was it in about one second. Planet Earth, it's forests and plains, it's deserts, it's oceans and frozen wastes. Every bacteria and blue whale, every nation, great and small, Every religion, every superstition, every political affiliation, both alive and well, or buried and dead. Every single human that has ever lived. The strong and the weak, the smart and the stupid, the virtuous and the psychopath. All come and gone in about one second. Just think about that for one second. Now let's put that into perspective. Let's put this journey into reverse. Let's, let's start flying backwards at the speed of light. Now 10 times the speed of light, 100 times the speed of light, 1,000 times the speed of light. If you watch this video from a wireless connection, this is about how far the radio signals from that router will have gotten. 10,000 times the speed of light. This is now about the distance to Titan. That's the furthest man-made object that performed a landing. 100,000 times the speed of light. This is now about the distance to Voyager 1, the furthest man-made object, merely some half light day out into space. 1 million times the speed of light. 10 million times the speed of light. We're now traveling about one light year every three seconds. This is about how far the radio signals from the very first iPhones will have reached. 100 million times the speed of light. That's about three light years in one second. We are now crossing the first light that escaped from the monitors of the first internet users. And then shortly afterwards, the last radio signals from the last men to walk on the moon. This is now how far the light from Edison's first electric light bulb will have reached. This is now the candles coming from the founding fathers as they worked on the Declaration of Independence. The light from 400 years ago. Mankind has just set out on the voyage of scientific discovery that was the Enlightenment. One billion times the speed of light. The light that you're now looking at is from 2000-ish years ago, when the founders of religions like Christianity and Islam walked the earth. You're now looking at the light from 4,000 years ago. The light from the builders of the pyramids. 10 billion 
times the speed of light, 100 billion times the speed of light. We are now passing the first recorded art of mankind, 1 trillion times the speed of light. And at this point, I'm going to halt this journey. We are now about 1 million light years out into space. That's about one third the way to the nearest galaxy. And this is about how far the furthest light from the oldest humans will have traveled. The light of the first fires from the hunter-gatherers on the Serengeti. But now comes the real question, particularly to those who watch this over a wireless connection. By the time the radio signals from those wireless routers get beamed out into space and get this far, what do you think planet Earth will look like?